September 2nd, I will open up the Select Board meeting. Review agenda for additional removal or adjustable of any items. No, no, no. Okay. Thank you, Public forum. Anybody? No, no they're all home where they should be. <laughs> consent agenda request. To, well. So there are four items on the consent agenda. Okay. Should I put the agenda maybe in the end of September? Yes, subboard concerns or two reports. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Consent agenda. Anybody got any? Yeah, questions? can we talk about the mirror? I mean, sure. Okay. How, just tell me how that's going to work. What's going to happen? I mean, they're going to put it up on the telephone pole that's right there on the corner. Correct. Across from the almost home. Do we want on the up on the west side of the road? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a pole right so that when you pull out, you can street. see. See what's coming when, when you're on Garfield. Well, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> it's <laughs> directly across from mm -hmm. Garfield yeah. Street. Mm -hmm. So that as you pull So up, is it going to be tilted like north or south? It's is convex. that the Okay, yeah. so, so you'll be able to see what's coming. It'll probably be tilted okay. toward to West south. Street yeah. so that folks can see oncoming vehicles. My only question is, is more for Bruce. Yeah. Um, same question. Go ahead. Go ahead, Peter. <laughs> that about if someone, you know, kind of rolls through or doesn't stop completely, pulls out and they get hit. We authorize that that put up. That was my concern the last. We authorize that that put up and then someone gets hit and they come back and say, you the townspeople put that up. You have to, before you can um, leave Garfield, you have to make sure it's safe. So whether or not there's a... Looking in a mirror. Looking in a mirror or whether there's a sign there, you're responsible. There's a stop so, sign. Yeah, right? there's a stop sign. There is a sign. I mean, there's I had a safe concern about liability, but... Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's the driver's responsibility. Yeah, I've seen those in driveways and different places. Yes, sure. I have. You have blind yeah. on a hill or something. Yeah. Circular ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because it's only going to get worse as the uh, snow comes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they did do a nice job of putting low flowers in there. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I meant to commend them a couple of meetings ago when I saw that. Because the other thing is to encourage the tenants and the patrons to pull up to the concrete right. um, curbs. Wow. That'd be a challenge to get the patrons to do that. <laughs> okay. Any other questions on the, any other consents? So just a reminder, a single motion would approve all of them as recommended. So moved. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve all the consent agenda. Do I have to read those? Or yep. I? Oh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Thank you. Computer. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Continued consideration of options for repair or replacement of the Department of Public Works International Girl Star Dump Truck, truck number two. You saw the in your packet the, mm -hmm. yep. the Valerie's notes about the review the equipment committee met. Mm -hmm. And Peter's on that committee, so if he wants questions for him. And I got a note from Eric this afternoon or sometime today mm -hmm. that uh, the truck is already on its way to J and P. J and B. And they are going to, um, I spoke with Eric, and they are going to diagnose it again just to make sure that it is, that it, is a, it does need an engine before they go and rip and tear into it. Okay. We got that truck from Clark. Yes. Then why isn't Park going to participate in this. Their bid was six thousand dollars more to repair it than J and B's. Okay, and the tell them we'll never buy another truck from you unless. Oh, well, that's <laughs> huh? That's, that's where I was at. Yeah. You what? That's where I was at. So where did we well, decide this money was coming from? What? Well, yeah. We don't know. Uh, Eric's going to find it out of his. He's got to find it out of his budget. Has anybody tried that with Clark? Tell me about it. It's out of warranty, correct, Peter? Yeah, think Eric and you and the equipment committee tried that. If that's where you're going with that, Ted, I don't mean to speak for you, but you think it's it's this, out of warranty? This, this is a international problem. There's a class action suit for vehicles with that engine. I don't care I mean, about that. I care about Bristol. Yeah, <laughs> I understand that. I'm just they're not going to do anything special for Bristol because Bristol's not the only one. That has the issue. Maybe Bristol will do something special with them. Is it James? Well, I think when we spec a new truck and decide where we're going to buy, replace whichever truck comes up next, that we remember this. 
Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, we had this discussion when we bought the last truck, and I was dead set against it, but they were the ones that had the, the truck that was ready to go that yeah. met yeah. our needs, and that's why we bought the international last year. So you don't think it's worthwhile to go after Clark? I don't think you're going to get anywhere. Well, it's worthwhile trying. Well, since of course we're not going to get anywhere unless we try. Well, since the truck's already on the way to J and B, I just and it's, it's a seven late. years old. Yeah. Well, I think our only our only course really is to be part of that class action suit, and I'm assuming that we would be part of that class action suit if you have a vehicle that's. I. Or we'd be entitled to some. The town of Bristol would be entitled to some monetary. It's once the, that goes through. They put that same engine in school buses, and that's where. Mm -hmm. the, no. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, that you had some more. You had some more. You, they shut you down. Yeah, they shut it. No, I'm done. Okay. Okay. So, so there's support for continuing. I would. I like a motion for that amount and about where the money's going to come from. <laughs> Eric's going to find it in his budget. So is that a motion? Yeah. We're gonna keep it? You make right. a motion to prove we're doing the dump truck. I move. Re Send the dump truck to J and B for the repairs needed. And the you money will come out of was already announced. Yeah. And it's coming out of the highway budget. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's so, no there's no uh <laughs> and that is not a that is not a capital expense. That's an operating expense. Right. And he understands that I know he's met with Jen to figure out where he could come up with the money. Um, and he knows that Bottom line is, you know, he can't code it somewhere else. He has to code that as equipment repairs, and and then that way we know uh, where our money went. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, it's relatively early in the fiscal year, so. Uh, yeah. Is there a second to speaker's motion? To second. Mm -hmm. Ted, second that, Tasha. Okay. Um, you said J. What is it? J and B, J and B. J and B. International. J and B. Yeah. yeah. Just the letters. Yeah. And it's the public works, right? Yep. Yeah. Truck number two. Okay, any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Formulation of a townwide police district study committee and appointment of new of members to it. May include deliberation and executive session. What do you want to do? I propose we do this in executive session. Okay. I agree. I just realized that a copy of the advertisement that we put on Front Porch Forum, Facebook, the town's website, and posted it around town, I didn't put a copy of it in your packet, I'm sorry about that. Um, but in the notice, we did uh, indicate that the select board would want to interview some of the candidates, and I don't think any of them, well, except Jen, <laughs> are here. I know one is on the way, on, on her way from Maine, and I thought it might come up around 7.15. I don't know that we need to interview anybody. I mean, I think we know everybody. Well, I think we can decide that in executive yeah, session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there may be some way. I'm won't. just talking about today, like right now. Yeah. We don't need to. Mm -hmm. Well, if anybody shows up that mm -hmm. is interested in this topic, we might want to circle back and, yeah. and allow mm -hmm. some a few moments to have a conversation and go from there. Okay. Yeah. Peter, Peter makes a motion to go in executive session. We don't need to. We're just going to do that in executive. Right. Mm -hmm. Police Department Fair and Impartial Policing Review. Policy Review. Bruce? Okay, so all of the um, policies that we're reviewing and trying to come up with, I won't implement or suggest any policy that hasn't been vetted by an attorney. So we will do our homework on these. Um, the VLCT has about 70 baseline model policies that it just requires a little bit of tweaking. Mm -hmm. so our name is included on, on and then some of the um, definitions may vary a little bit because of the size of our agency. But this is the first that we've actually got ready to go. And this one here, the wording is pretty much dictated by statute, so there wasn't much where we could change. Very interestingly, the, the, the policy that's currently in effect uh, was adopted in 2014, and it was actually adopted by the select board and signed by select board members. 
but it was only three pages long. Compared to this one, that's eight pages long. They did in 2017 indicate um, that they were going to follow the model policy by the Vermont um, Criminal Justice Training Council, which the wording is identical to us. Mm -hmm. So it's not just you drowning us in paperwork so we don't read it? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to read all of them, I'm more than happy to provide every one of them. Um, yeah, I think back in 17, we adopted, this was just coming out, we'd say, okay, we're just going to so rewrite the wheel again. Do we reinvent the wheel or adopt yeah. this? So a lot of these, there's no reason for us to reinvent the wheel. Somebody's already taken care of us. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm not going to implement or suggest anything that an attorney has reviewed. Mm -hmm. So that way we're following the most current acceptable practices. Mm -hmm. So the question that's out there is, what's the select board's role in reviewing these policies? In the past, the select board has taken action to adopt and then actually sign um, it's unclear whether that's uh, required. Um, must, it's a select board policy to do that? Um, it's not required by any kind of statute, and some agencies do it. Most just make the select board aware and give them an opportunity to review it, or give them a copy of it. To be honest with you, if I were, I mean, I, I can approve this, but looking at it, it's like, I have no idea. I'm assuming that <laughs> what you've got in here is yeah. right, yeah. you know, because it's not, it's not my expertise. Mm -hmm. So for me to approve it, I, you know, for other giving, than for us giving you the blessing that, okay, we're, yeah, it's there. We're blessing we should be following it. What the chief has brought to us, mm -hmm. understanding through his connections to VLCT and that they've, uh, the I mean, I like to see them just to know sure. that you've got them there and we're, right. well, you know, I, but I don't need to, other than like, <coughs> I'll read this one and I'll say to you, you might want to look at this because I don't think, I'm not sure I'm reading it right or I don't understand it. Um, or there may be just formatting stuff that I see, but other than that, it's like, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I get it. Sorry, I'm happy to answer any questions you have if you're, you know, reading the policy mm -hmm. and need more definition or more information about it. I'm happy mm -hmm. to do that. I think stuff that goes by statute is nothing other yeah, than, yeah, other yeah, than this, us. Yeah. Right, this other than us blessing it. The, the, yeah. the policies that we're concerned with are the ones that directly affect Bristol and what we want. Mm -hmm. And I think they're few other than our you know our personnel policy and our leave and pay and all that. But the union's working on that now too. So even that'll be we just I want to make sure that we're not confusing people by if the select board adopts it and then we have to make some kind of change mm -hmm. and we're in between the time there's a meeting and I need to make a change because mm -hmm. that could be confusing to some. Most understand that um, they have to follow my direction but there could cause some confusion if there's two different. Mm -hmm. So this would be consistent amongst all departments that we don't have to sign off on? I don't know what other departments have policies. We're going to be working on the class fire, fire policies and winter maintenance well, policies, and that really should be a, a the fire department. Oh, oh, you're right. Thank but you. not they're not policies based on statute. No, they're not. Right. No. Mm -hmm. right. And that's the, that's the type of policy I was saying, that if, if the police department has one of those, that would be one that we'd want to review and go through. But I think you should review all of them. Yeah. It's just whether we use the word adopted or reviewed, mm -hmm. it could create confusion. And yeah. I, I'm thinking that reviewed is a better mm -hmm. um, wording to use. Mm -hmm. So, so we, review. We don't, yeah, we review it. We need no action, right? I don't know that. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm just like, sure if this is supposed to be a comma. Because I was trying to read it, it was like, ah, it's just it's totally making sense to me. It's, but. Uh, it's not one contradiction to that one. Well, that's a question. Um, Joel is asking whether section 11 Page is, six. is a contradiction to 13. Page 6. Uh, well, that would be statute. Like, 
number 11, Federal Criminal Law versus page 7, Statute 13, Collaboration with Federal Immigration. I think they're two different sections. Where are you again? I'm sorry. Here. This here. Comes up here. Order process. It says here we'll have to work. And those two contradict each other. That's it. No, I have to read the reading to make sure you can. I was reading it. Um, no, I'll, I'll I didn't think they were. No, because the first one, I'll go ahead. The first so one it. says BPD has the authority to deal okay. with yeah. that. And 13 says they have no obligation to work with federal immigration. Okay. Yeah. Great. I know that's been a big topic. Right. And if it's a civil action, we're prevented from taking part in the civil action. Okay. We do the criminal. Um, and I think it mentions in there, and I can't remember which page it's on there, that if it's a, 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 a detention order, and I don't remember if that's the exact it's wording, if it's a civil section. thing, that we don't do that. Okay. We only take action when it comes to criminal. Okay. Which is the font here, and then just that, just from um, where I was, just to make sure that that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, I think that's, um, that's the way it's supposed to be. But we, do, but we got one font around to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's in that section 11. Section 11, here, <laughs> on page 6. on this? Okay. And Bruce, all of our officers are up on this standard because it's been through the criminal justice system yeah. in Pittsburgh. And they've, they've been up on this one since 2017, but as we um, retype these, it'll be reissued. So okay. we'll get another copy and we will document when they receive it. There's no motion. I don't think there's, there's no, no motion. motion. We're just saying it's we've reviewed review. it. Review. Well, so are we? Okay. We're not adopting. Are we going to? So we did it 17, adopted this or not? Mm -hmm. We did. We're not doing that anymore. Okay. That was the consensus. Okay. Now, as long as it follows the statute, then there's no need for us to. It was to keep us out of the middle of it. So if something has to change, in, like Bruce says, if something has to change in between meetings, he can tell his officers it's changed, and he, he doesn't have to wait for, you know, we'll still get to review it, but he doesn't have to wait for us to approve it before. So the one in 2017 that we voted and signed mm -hmm. is still good. No, this no, will no, supersede this, that. This is going I to think that we ought to have a vote that, that honestly. I think we ought to have a vote. Well, we, we, we can vote to rescind the one in 2017. Or something. Don't we well, see, this is where some of the confusion comes in. Right. right? Because then, you know, who is going to follow who? Well, for the day-to-day -day operations, I'm responsible for it. Mm -hmm. And I'll make sure that it's followed. If not, then it's on me. Mm -hmm. So, you know. I, just I mean, Joe's sure. got a point that it's still effective if we haven't rescinded it. So we need to rescind the one in 2017, and then. I don't know if unless it says something in it. It's That's actually 2014. The one that you wrote out of is 2014. I don't know what you did in 2017. I think all we did was this was brought to our attention. It, it was when criminal yeah. justice. Yeah, when they came. VCI or VC, whatever. No, it, it was through the training council. They were the right, first ones to bring it out, and they said this is the model policy. And everybody needs to use this wording. Because I think that's all we voted on was to, or we brought up the speed on it that we would start using that policy. So that's why I'm suggesting if we have a review, then you're familiar with it and you're up to date with it. And if there's any changes, it's my responsibility to get to you and say, here, right. these are the new changes. So we uh, should should we reset to review? Ted, well, wait a minute. For Ted made a motion. We didn't get to say to re rescind the 14s. That 2014. So we're going by this one. 
because we did that in 2017 to go by this one. No. Wow. No. no. Nothing happened in 2017. No, no official action. No official action. That I'm, that I'm aware of. So he, he, they probably brought it to your attention, but there was right. nothing done. Mm -hmm. So Michelle, you're more up on this than the rest of us. Should we rescind that 2014? Uh, okay. <laughs> the question is, we need in the to, halls you we, work in. I we say. we need to okay. decide whether okay, what are we going to do going forward? Yeah, I think we're that's gonna, you know, if we're going to say anything that's by statute, Bruce has control of, and anything that you know doesn't have a statute that we need to review. I mean, that's what we got to decide. I would say we review everything. Anything that has a statute doesn't have a statute comes for, before us for approval. Mm -hmm. yeah, if it has a statute, we really don't. It's yeah, not a big statute. We don't need to approve it. Just review it. Mm -hmm. well, okay. You can save yourself some time. It's my responsibility to make sure things are done right. It right. falls on my shoulders, and I will bring it to your attention. And you can review. Mm -hmm. Just trying to. Speed the process so or streamline the process. process. Mm -hmm. Get to your point. Should do, then Ted's made the motion to rescind the 2014. So that's off the books. We. I think we need to rescind. Yeah. How do you do that? If you rescind that one, then this one's automatically in place. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. I agree. So that's Ted's. Is that your motion? Ted? All second. Yes, it is. And yeah. Peter second. You got that, Tasha? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any more comments on that? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. All right. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Great. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Okay. Okay. Andrew Johnson investment options. Is this an option? selected has the most competitive rate, but that um, National Bank of Middlebury offers a 17-month variable rate at 2.11%, but that's very good. A little bit. National Bank of Orwell has yes. two years for 2.45. Oh. That's okay. what I was going to suggest. Yeah. National Bank of Orwell treats, mm -hmm. treats mm -hmm. yes. municipalities and, mm -hmm. and that very well. So the only uh, two point four five for two years, twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah. Um, okay. So the only question I had was just that: Did you want to invest for that long? That well, means you just if we're only going to spend the interest, we can take we the interest at any time. You won't get the interest till the end of the right. twenty four months. We could reinvest the interest. Right? You certainly right. could reinvest yeah. the interest, yeah. mm -hmm. but that's what I was unsure of: is mm -hmm. how you. Yeah. What about Porter Knight's idea? Yeah. And then I looked a little bit about that. I guess at this point in time, the recommendation I would make would be to get it into something for now, whether it be the short 12 months or something, just to earn some more interest than we're earning. With the idea that that would be an option the next time we looked to invest the money. Mm -hmm. um, just I'm not familiar with it, and I'm sure it's a great program, um, but. Um, I don't know how long it would take. I don't know if there are stipulations. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they only do it certain times a year. So I'd hate to mm -hmm. miss the boat before the end of September because it sounds like the feds are going to change the rates again by the next quarter. So I'd like to get this money into something um, quickly. The interest is accrued monthly. I think you can take it out as it's accrued. Mm -hmm. It'd be a question to ask, I guess. Yeah. yeah. We, we never have in the past, but I mm -hmm. certainly can ask. Jennifer, that. where do we have it now? Right now, it's just in a money market at People's United Bank. So they must pay better than. Did you said 174 last year? It made an interest. For 174 for a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's well. Peter has interest. Uh, Peter Ryan does interest allocation. So okay. that's with all the other um, money that's also in the fund, because um, that's where we put all our capital money. So that 174, that's specific to this, though, right? The 174 is specific to this, correct? Right. You calculated that out, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Do you want to come back, Peter, one more? 
to look into Orwell or um, anybody? I'm not opposed to two years. That's all I need. I, well, I guess I, your call, you know, but if I just we, don't know if you can use the money. If we can't, you get to the interest, though. I don't know how beneficial it is or isn't. Right. I mean, if we're using that money. If it's only a couple hundred dollars a year, we ought to be able to get it from somewhere and pay that oh, back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Or well, the interest on, what is it, 100,000 100, thereabouts. And uh, so the interest is going to be twenty-four, dollars $2,500 a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it wouldn't be the end of the world if we had to borrow it the first time right. around yeah. ourselves. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm good. Well, I just that's need some guidance. That's my own personal. Yeah. Okay. I, don't well, know how I know that's. that's they're so, firing away the best interest rate that I've seen. Okay. Instead, mm -hmm. instead of Jen coming back to us, you want her and Valerie just to, her to look into Orwell National and a couple other around and them two up to two years select the highest interest rate. They want instead of them coming back again. It works for me. Yeah. Instead so of motion picker. I don't know who else she's going to look into. But sure, because she's done some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there any other suggestions that anyone else has seen? National. Yeah. I, no, the National Bank of Orwell is. By far, been the best. Yeah, we're limited on what we can invest it in anyway, so yeah. based on our policy. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So. Cecil Foster sent an email suggesting Citibank at 2.36%. Mm -hmm. this, this city, there's Fed, want federal. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know what Citibank. Imagen. There's a Citibank in Virginia? No, there's there's a city bank in no they, just, they just closed that one. Um, down by the is it down by right. the Hanifer? Yeah, down by the Hanifer. That that's Citizens? That's citizens. citizens, not Citizens. Is that the same? Citizens. I'm sorry. Citizens. Is that the same as Citibank? No. I don't think so. No. I don't know. I think Citibank might be an online thing. Yeah, yeah. big corporate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think we want to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. We should no. just keep it local. We should keep it that direction. <laughs> Couple of credit unions. So yeah, you could check them out that old credit union yeah. or state or state. North country. Let's move this. So you want to that those two will get Let together. To decide. Tosh, you getting that part of that? Yeah. The speaker made the motion to let so. Valerie and Jennifer, uh, Jennifer uh, review a few more banks and uh, bring Pretty it to unique. Valerie just for kind of her eyes too. And so they don't have to come back to me. So up to two years. Where we can make the most money. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. awesome. Is there a second to that? Second. Yeah. A second. Any more questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Consider designation of a voting delegate from Hot League of Cities and Towns annual business meeting for Wednesday, October 2nd. Um, do we want to back up? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Oops. Are you uh, in? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for making it. <laughs> So, so Andy Denny is here for the uh, police district study committee. She is one of the one of the few one of the candidates that submitted a letter of interest. Come on, okay, come on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Just getting your pet letter first. It's, it's further This will be painless. This will be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we pretty much summed up everything. Yeah, she did. Yeah, I don't was think the, we no. was the the longest the longest one we got. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, very thorough. The the information is. Uh, well, did you what I was supposed to say in it, sir? So, um, tell us a little bit why you a little bit of your background here. I just read it in the letter here. You moved away for a little while and you came back. And, yep, um, I grew up here and. Um, and then, yeah, I moved away for um, a few years, and then I moved back to raise my kids here. And I have been back since um, 2009. So I've been back for 10 years, and um, I, uh, I live on Mountain Street. And um, so, um, I mean, I feel like I have a you know pretty vested interest in the town in general, and um, I. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm, you know, kind of an involved, you know, citizen, and I, okay. you know, when I saw that there were, you know, that there was a committee to look into it, I was interested in being a part of it. And okay. Where are you teaching? You said you're still teaching part time. Um, I teach at the Hanford Career Center. Mm -hmm. Any 
Schmidt, then. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, he's a great He's guy. great. Yeah. Yes, he um, Do you, um, have you ever had any involvement with the, the police here in Bristol or in general? Oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good or bad. Do you do any more? Do any more? Yeah. No acts to crime? No, no, okay. definitely not. No. No, I mean, I have two teenagers. So, you know, I have had some, right. some good, some bad. And, yep. You know, been there and done that. But, but, I mean, in the end, it's always been good. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Learning experiences. Right, exactly. Okay. Teachers are exactly. always. Teachers Yep. <laughs> yep. We were all teenagers at one time, right, Dad? <laughs> that was a long time. That was a while ago. I prefer not to think about it. Okay, you know, as you know, it's going to be a short-lived committee, uh, but the timeline won't affect your employment or non-employment. You know, you'll be able to make the meetings and make the. And yeah. Not that so I know how many they're going to be yet, but. I um I work for um, Silver Maple Construction and. Um, well, it's New Haven, actually. Yeah. Um, but I um, have a lot of flexibility, so I can work from home um, certain days a week, and um, and I can kind of set my hours. And then I um, also work uh, part time. But I mean, evening. Remote. They're probably evening meetings. For VAS. Oh, that's fine. So, yeah, yeah, that's so that's no big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It just means you'll have to go watch the teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> they're not teenagers anymore. So no. they're, I have, my kids are adults. Anybody got any more questions? Mm -hmm. No. Well, well, thank, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Hope Absolutely. you didn't race home from Maine to no. get here. Okay. <laughs> no, I thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Do you want to interview? No, no, we don't have to. You don't have to. I think we pretty much. Unless you have something you want to say. <laughs> Unless you have an axe to grind. <laughs> no, um, the only thing I'd like to say is that I know. Um, at some point, I imagine I will be helping with the process when, if they are looking at tax rates and things like that. And so, for me, I it would, I think I would feel much more satisfied if I could help with the process from beginning to end. Um, so I could be a part from the discussion from the initial part through the end to see kind of how that changes. Um, so that's where my interest comes in, along with. Um, knowing kind of what we had gone through um, in voting for the fire station. So I just feel like um, being a part of that and kind of knowing what needs to be done to get the community aware and involved um, is important. So I guess that would be. And understanding where the questions are coming from that are being asked of you as a clerk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess I just would like to see a process that I could be a part of from start to finish. So that's why I submitted my interest to Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, consideration de designation of voting delegate for the month leave the cities and town annual business meeting for Wednesday, October 2nd. I will be out of town for that week, for most of that week. Probably you'll be out, right? I, I will not be attending. So this is it's, it's not uh, urgent or pressing, and there have been plenty of years where nobody from Bristol has been present. But uh, in case anybody is interested, just wanted to make sure folks had the opportunity. Okay. Usually the day I'm working, but we'll see. I can go. Go, Peter. You sound so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Go down to Ellington, bring, bring your skis. Yeah. Bring your skis, they might guy. be skiing by then. I'll have to get there in time for lunch. <laughs> well, absolutely. <laughs> so we'll talk about that. that Excellent. Yeah. Super, thank you. Approval okay. by August 19th, 2019. Here's my changes now. <laughs> thank you. Anybody got any other changes? Move we approve more Michelle's changes. Right here. There's a motion and a second to approve of Michelle's changes. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Authorized payable warrants and any liquor licenses. We haven't signed it yet. I don't think we have any liquor licenses. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Gosh, 
Concerns? Uh, Peter. I'm good. Michelle? I'm good. Peter? Um, just a concern that your brother brought to a bunch of us um, about meeting on holidays. Uh, I didn't think too much of it because. Could you identify Mark? which brother? Mark? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, about having meetings on holidays. I didn't think too much of it because I work Labor Day and Memorial Day, so it doesn't mean anything to me. But, um, you know, Mark stated that, you know, somebody like Valerie might have a, a function going on where, um, you know, a picnic or something of that sort where uh, either has to leave early and, and make a meeting or, uh, and, and, you know, I saw that as a, a valid point. I, I don't... Um, it doesn't bother me to meet on a holiday, but I, I think we should think of our employees as well. You know, we've got both Bruce, Valerie, and Jen here, and Tasha, who, <laughs> none, well, none of you get to decide if, we, if we're going to have a meeting. None of you get to decide whether, um, you know, whether it's a day off or not. And if you had a, a party to go to or something, uh, it limits um, your activity. So it just I, means I get time to have, right? <laughs> <laughs> just like we get um, time and a half. <laughs> so I just, I, I think it's something that you know, um, that maybe uh, we ought to talk to our staff about and see how they feel about it because they, the, the question's always just asked of us, and and we all say it's not a problem for us, but we didn't think about our employees. Okay. Good point. Good point. It wasn't my point. It was Mark's. <laughs> but I. I have to say I agree with him. I just want to back up. I want to thank Bruce for pulling the weeds out around the fire hydrant. It looks yes. much better. Yes. <laughs> Did you pull them out or weed whack them out? I pulled them out. Pulled pulled them out. out. I could tell when I was pulled all the years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he washed it off today. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got plenty of water today. Yeah. Okay, anything else, Peter? No. Okay, Ted? No? Okay. Um, just a couple I have. Um, somebody mentioned to me. Between the sidewalk between uh, Spring on North Street, just by Martha Chesley's there, there's a chunk of, chunk of concrete that's loose and it's going to become a tripping hazard. Where is this? On North Street by Martha and Mike Chesley's. That whole section is a trip hazard. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> yes. That is. But they said this section is, yeah. there's a section yeah. that broke off. Yeah. It's, um, it's dog loose. has trouble making it. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, and, um, Met with Valerie, of course, you know she's going to be away at the end of the month. And because we're meeting tonight, this goes right into Beaker's um, comment. Um, we're probably not going to have a meeting on September 30th, because they'll make us three meetings in September. And that works out perfect, because then we'll go every other week and we won't meet December 23rd. Oh, okay. Okay, so. so when we, when's the meetings in October then? So we have a meeting the 16th. Well, we're going to go. The calendar's not there anymore. <laughs> we're going to go back to the seventh, the twenty-first. We'll start on back on October seventh. So we're meeting the sixteenth, and then the so the first and third week of the the seventh and the twenty-first. Okay. The seventh and the twenty-first, and that works right out through where we we don't meet Thanksgiving week, and we don't meet uh, December twenty-third, that Christmas Eve night, post Christmas, whatever you want to call it. We wouldn't meet the 23rd. Okay? It's my mother's birthday. December 23rd? Yes. So the mm -hmm. meetings start back up on the January 6th after the first Well, I just was doing, we're not going to meet September 30th and we'll start on October 7th. The next meeting will be October 7th after the 16th of September. 
she's going to be gone the 16th, and I'm going to do the agenda with maybe some help from my town clerk. And, 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 and the town administrator, administrator assistant yeah, administrator, assistant, assistant, assistant town assistant, clerk. Yeah, right, but then there's three Mondays that you would meet in right. December, right? December, we need, there, no, no. We're going to start October budget. 7th. It'll depend on budget comes December. December. Yeah. Yeah. Then every other week, we'll start October 7th and go every other week. That way we don't meet again Columbus Day. Back to Peeker's point on a holiday. If you've got that time off, we wouldn't meet on Columbus Day the 14th. That would be the 14th, yeah. Yep, yeah, he, moved, he moved that right into that segment about <laughs> meeting Labor Day and yeah. holidays. And so, Memorial Day. And Memorial Day. <laughs> so, okay. And that's all I have. Town Administrator's report? Um, no, that uh, just those clarifying those dates, that was one thing I was hoping to cover. Um, I don't have anything else to add to my written report. Okay. Any other business correspondence reports? Uh -huh. um, This is up to you. What's up? Mm -hmm. This is this is you do it in open session. No, that's entirely up to that's you. That's totally up to you. Oh, I don't care. No. Do whatever feels yeah. good. A letter here, dated September second, two thousand nineteen. Please accept this as a notification that I'll be resigning from my position on the Bristol Select Board effective at the end of this meeting, evening meeting, September second, two thousand nineteen. Thank you, Ted Lyons. Mm -hmm. Motion to accept his resignation with regret. Second. Motion to second. Accept Ted's resignation with regret. I have to say I was saddened to see this, but mm -hmm. uh, as well with his wishes. Yeah. I was too, and I tried. To, mm -hmm. I had a brief moment with him, and uh, Ted's been a, a good member. Uh, he's um, stands up to his beliefs and his topics, and he's been a, a good. Uh, member for the town, so I'm going to miss it. He'll still be an asset. He'll, be, he'll, he'll still, still be an asset. asset. I'm just not going to be doing this anymore. Everything else, I'm so okay. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Fourth of July committee and all that. Yeah. That's a Thank long, you. long list. Yes, <laughs> yes, that is a long, yeah. very long and list. And very well appreciated. Yes. 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 Uh, Michelle. Michelle did. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. This Thank was you, not included as Thank an agenda you. item well. with the hope that Ted would reconsider <laughs> and that we could just, just slide, slide it out. Put it through the grinder. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. but, that didn't happen. but since uh, it's worth pointing out that, uh, that the next step now that we have a vacancy is to advertise the position for 30 days. We'll just reappoint him. <laughs> we we, we can't can do that. We can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> He reconsidered. Give him 30 days off and reappoint him. Let him get to rerun again in March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so much fun. All that campaigning. And back of pounds. Okay. It's gone. Michelle, you want to go into. You want to. We, we'll just we'll have Valerie uh, advertise not, right? it on front porch for him and in the paper. Well, in our usual places. As it says okay. on our mm -hmm. policy. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Just uh, personal for executive? Uh, just personnel. Mm -hmm. Make a motion we enter into an exec executive session to discuss personnel issues per 1 VSA section 313. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. 